Alright, hey guys, uh, hole number six that I'm going to set up for here. My driver, you see top spin accuracy very similar on a pocket three versus extra mile eight. I'm just going to keep extra mile on. And, oh, 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 extra mile. So I'm keeping my, uh, I'm setting up for hole five here, but I'm keeping, here you can see jewel ball that I'm setting up for. And uh, see if I can't clear out another chest here, got to get another gold coming in here. So with five, what I'm going to recommend is a rough bump here. And the way that I'm going to go about it uh, in Pro Division is going to be with just a sniper. Um, this is relatively um, required that you have a, a high level sniper for this shot. Of some degree, um, it needs to be a uh, sniper. Let me see if I can back out of this. Well, try again. So what I recommend on this one is definitely some kind of rough bump. So there's a couple w different ways that I play it. Um, one would be very similar to the shootout that you saw me do. Um, if you were to, s to, to go back and replay that, um, in that situation, maybe I use 10-15% extra wind. In the case of this wind, I might use maybe 30, since it's going to be a headwind, I'd use maybe 30% extra wind and play the rough bump very similar to what you saw in the video. Now, what it's going to require is a decent amount of backspin. It doesn't matter technically if you use Guardian or Sniper or whatever, if you can just model the spin. Um, you just want to get to those certain markers and for this shot that I hit the first thing I'm just going to go max real quick and I'm going to set up opposite and you can see where I'm putting the ball guide just kind of towards the left that's because um, I'm hoping that the wind angle changes that a little bit. I'm also going to play 50% extra wind. So for me, I'm going to play seven rings. It's five, just a little bit more than seven here. Ah, caught a great ball. So it is going to affect the way that this rolls out, but here you can see, in fact, you can see that it's rolling out very slow. Uh, the goal is going to be able to just slide it down that hill uh, gracefully. And that's the reason that you see me using the jewel ball there is because, um, you know, I really don't need side spin technically, but another way to go about doing it is with side spin. So here you can see uh, my opponent setting up. Now, the only thing I don't like about um, setting up over here. Uh, with uh, Navigator, as you can see, that you need to go into power. So here you can see my opponent's going to have to do this, but let's see if he can't pull it off. Uh, everything looks good so far. Let's see if it... Nope, not enough carry. So you do need to be a little bit cautious, and that's one of the the, the, the definite... You know, I, I would recommend... This is one of the, the one of the holes that I would recommend pulling out your... Uh, Kingmaker ball for, um, and uh, also if you can, you know, utilize that last fair, uh, that last rough surface. That's the uh, you'll you'll see where the rough changes and where it starts to go to a downslope and it's a new rough. If you can put it in there with some left curl, with some left side spin, and also have the back spin and just kind of play around with the guide until it looks relatively good. Um, you can go about doing it just a little bit different method. Uh, I've, I've been trying to just tweak this uh, jewel ball a little bit, see if I can't get the uh, 
adjustment for a no win ball or no side spin ball to be, um, you know, right where we need. And, you know, I'm sure it's going to take a little bit of practice, but something that I'm willing to do and hopefully be able to pull off. So, um, you know, just something to keep in mind. And uh, at the very least, you know, here's going to be a shot analysis with the jewel ball. So let's see if I can't get this somewhat reasonable. People have been wondering, you know, the purpose of this ball. Um, I'm, I'm more happy about the way that it has the power plus uh, power plus wind resistance than I am about the side spin. I can do my own side spin. I'm, I'm, I'm less worried about that. So here you can see where I'm setting up and we're just going to curl it instead of side spin it. So I'm going to go about four rings-ish and we're just going to maybe use about that much curl <clears throat> and here you can see comes up the slope just just barely not enough curl so I'm um, still able to get it inside the yard um, you know it's more of kind of an advanced ball but uh, it's the only ball with other than Royal Ball that's uh, four power and still has good wind resistance. It actually has more wind resistance than any other four power ball in the game. So for that fact alone, um, I find a use for it. And there's going to be plenty of occasions where, um, especially not having the uh, side spin, is still going to be applicable. So I do think, uh, you know, overall the ball is not too bad. So just something to consider and uh, be on the lookout for hole number six, guys, as uh, I'll be putting together the guide for you here momentarily.